Greetings. So, we're back again with another Xamarin tutorial. And I'll be showing you guys in this tutorial, or maybe tutorial series, on how to uh, create a Xamarin NuGet package, or a Xamarin plugin. So maybe you wanted to create some sort of UI elements that you want other people to be able to lose, or maybe have like a list of good looking colors or some something like that. Uh, so the process is basically exactly the same as any normal uh, NuGet package. Uh, but I don't know why it was harder for me. I thought there would be a different process because it's a Xamarin plugin, but no. You literally just do the exact same thing, but have Xamarin Forms as a dependency, uh, which I'll be showing you guys how to do later, obviously. So, first things first, you need a new get account. If you don't have one, make one. It's kind of crucial to be able to publish a plugin. We need to go to API keys as the first thing when we start out. Now what the API key is, is basically this key uh, that allows you to push your code or your new updates to the plugin to the gallery. Do not share this with anyone uh, because then they can actually, you know, send, it, uh, send updates to your package, which you probably don't want. So the, API, the key name, let's just call it Xamarin Oriel key. Uh, I don't like that name, but whatever. It's just the key name. This key name is not the name of the actual package. Uh, for the glob pattern, you want an asterisk. And that's all you need to change, and that's it. Create. Now, you can only copy this once. If you fail to copy it, then that's it. That's done for. You need to regenerate the key, which is a new key. You copied it once, and now you need to save it somewhere safe. Don't share it with anyone. Anyway, so I'm going to paste it into Discord, and I'll be right back. I'm back, but not in my web browser. I am in Visual Studio 2019 already, because it is time for us to create the actual project. Let's go. We will not be creating a mobile app Xamarin Forms. What we actually want to create is a class library. So. This one, class library, .NET standard, and make sure that it has the C sharp thing up here. You don't want to be going and creating a Visual Basic class library. So now it's time to name our plugin. Mine is going to be called bulb.zamogus, right? Because uh, it's a funny play on the word Xamarin and Amogus, because they sort of have like, like am, the am, both of them. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Uh, let's create this. Uh, creating lay project. Uh, yeah. So, this is essentially all we need to start off with. This is a bare bones implementation. Well, we haven't really added the dependency yet, but whatever. So for this pro um this plugin, it's gonna have a content view called I don't know uh the imposter or something. I don't know, but we'll see. Now, to make this a Xamarin plugin rather than just like a normal NuGet package, we need to have Xamarin Forms as a dependency. So we're gonna uh, go here, manage NuGet packages, come over here and find Xamarin Forms in the Browse tab. We're gonna download it. I'm downloading 5.0.0.2012. I accept. Check over here. It has been downloaded. Uh, the CS project has been updated as well. And now, let's go ahead and add a content view to this. I'm sure many of you have probably already added like content pages to your app or whatever. You know, let's add a content view. And yeah. Oh dear, I forgot to name it. I, did I name this content view? Oh, oh my god. Oh dear. That's that's bad. No. Okay, so the content view. Again. I'm going to call this Amogus view. Uh, is that a good... No, I'm just going to call it Amogus. Right? And here, in Amogus, we're going to have... Let me just cut this out, actually. 
uh, our Amogus content view is going to have a frame. And inside the frame, we're going to have this stuff. You can edit this as you like. Like, it doesn't really have to be an exact copy. It doesn't have to be a copy at all. I'm just doing what sounds good to me. Light green. Right? Okay, let me, let me just do it like that. Um, just, uh... Amoga sus. Um, I don't know if I want to waste time like actually making a content view. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add a button and be done with it. Button, corner radius 12. Uh, let me just change it to eight actually. It's gonna be contained inside that. Background color, red. Oh dear, that's a bad looking red. This is why someone really needs to create like a colors uh like plugin. So like, you know, the good colors, so I can use good colors instead of having to stick with these really weird default colors that it, that don't even look good. But anyways, we have our content view and this is our entire plugin now. So we have the plugin. What do we do now? Well, we need to publish it to NuGet so that people can uh download the plugin uh and then use our content view. Let's go here. First of all, we need to go to our project and go to its properties. And we go to package. And in package, we uh, write the information regarding our package. So this is the package ID. It's called bald.amogus. The package version, I'm going to change it to 0.1.0 .0 because this is in no way a finished package. And the authors, I'm just going to change it to uh, my tag and description. Uh, we wish you a very sus amog hus. Yep, that's it. Over here, you see like licensing and stuff. Project URL, repository URL. URL. You can link it to your GitHub uh, repository this way. The icon file is um an image that you would keep somewhere here, so that when you have it on the new Get Gallery, people can actually see the image for it. The icon for it because right now it's just gonna have the default icon which doesn't really look good but it is what it is i will not be showing that in this video i'll just be showing the absolute basics so we've done that and now we do pack essentially what this does is it turns our code it turns the solution into this well it turns the project into a file format called, I don't, I don't know how to say this, I'm just going to say nupcug. It's basically just a normal zip file, but it's what you will push to um, NuGet with. So, this is the file name. And now, what we need to go, where we need to go is to developer PowerShell. And we need to navigate over to this file, and we need to actually push it to, uh, well... You get so it is located firstly in your project. So bulb.zamogus, we, we want to cd to there, zamogus, right? So now we're in this project, then it's located in the bin folder and in debug. And now I'm gonna paste a command into here and uh, show you what you would be needing to paste, okay. So this is the command. It's .NET NuGet push. Over here, you will write uh, the name of the file that you will be pushing. For us, it's zamogus.0.1.0.nupcug because if you look here, this is the most recent one that we just uh, converted uh, into the zip file or the nupcug file. And then slash slash uh, dash dash api dash key space and then you write your api key and then another space and then dash dash source https uh api nuget well the thing with the thing uh so you enter that and we have a problem ah the problem is i did not specify the file properly. It is not, in fact, 
Zamogus, it is Bob.Zamogus. So we do need to have the file name to be, we, we do need to have the file name correct, right? So now we have Bob.Zamogus and we're gonna push. And as you see, it's successfully pushed. So that's essentially how to push a package uh, to NuGet. And yeah, I'm gonna open it. I'll show you guys the package, first of all. Then I'm gonna download the package into the tutorial application and, sh and show you it working. So I will be right back. All right, as you can see, the package has been pushed. Currently it's validating. It'll take a while for it to be indexed, but we will be able to uh, install it, install our package very soon. So, you know, as I said before, it would have the default icon because we didn't edit the icon or anything. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it. Okay, so it's been listed now. So let's see if we can uh, download it back to Visual Studio. Okay, now we're back here into our tutorial application. Uh, yes, I have been using the same exact solution for every single video so far. Uh, but let's go here and manage new get packages. And we're going to search up bob.zamogus. Here it is. Let's install. And look at that. We have a problem. What's the problem? It's clashing versions of Xamarin forms. Because if we look at our solution, Right, let's go to manage to get packages for the solution. We have Xamarin Forms version uh, 4.8 rather than the newest version 5.0, which was used in the plugin. So what we're gonna have to do is actually update it, it to the version of the plugin. Now, a very common uh, problem, or like, it's not really a problem, but more of a mistake that I come up with, uh, come into, is me only updating the, uh, Xamarin Forms uh, dependency for one project. You need to update the dependency in all of the projects. So like just go into solution and update it for everything at the same time. Now we can successfully download bulb.zamogus and use it. Uh, yeah, install. And I believe that is our Xamarin plugin installed. Go up here. It has indeed been installed. So now let's use it, right? What I want to do is firstly have a reference to the namespace, whatever it was, I did not pay attention. And bulb.amogus. I think that was what it was called. Sorry, keep messing up. There we go. And add XML namespace reference to bulb.samogus, right? And that's our UI element. We have successfully created a Xamarin plugin and used it in another Xamarin application. So let's wait for what on earth just happened. Let me just check the error list. What? God, something's up. Let me just fix this, I'll be right back. All right, I'm incredibly sorry. It turned out that one of my assets in my Android project was the imposter. Uh, I could do nothing about it, you know? This, this, that's just how it was. So, final proof of concept. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Taking a while, taking a while. And there we go, we have it. Amogus sus and the emergency button. I'm not sure if I added text to this button. I think I was supposed to add text to this, what? Oh. Sorry. I think I was supposed to add text to the button, but I didn't. But it doesn't matter because I'm unlisting the package anyway. That's why I'm actually showing the API key in the video. 
like you, you can do whatever you want with the API key because I'm taking the package down as soon as this video is over. Well, I'm unlisting it. Right? Actually, no, wait, I can't. Because cause you guys are going to... Wait, I, I can just regenerate the key, never mind. So, yeah. This is our Xamarin plugin. We're done. Yep. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, feel free to uh, put your plugin links or whatever in the comments below. Bye, guys.